This video highlights the features and benefits of the Rainbird MI software, which runs on all Rainbird Golf Central control systems. In this demonstration, we're using Cirrus, but MI works the same with Nimbus 2, Stratus 2, and Stratus LT. MI software is preloaded on your irrigation computer when it arrives from Rainbird. If you're on Rainbird's Global Service Plan, also known as GSP, you can call the GSP team and they'll activate MI for you. If you have an older Rainbird system, you'll need version 6 or later software to operate MI. If you have a computer that was not purchased from Rainbird, then you will need to contact Rainbird, obtain the license, and download the software. To set up MI, you simply need internet access and the ability to assign a static IP address to your irrigation computer. When MI is active on your irrigation computer and connected to the internet, you can use MI to connect to your irrigation software remotely from any smartphone, tablet, or computer. MI is the easiest to use internet-based handheld software for golf irrigation control. Next, we'll demonstrate logging into the system and take a brief look at various MI screens. Future videos will take a look at each section of MI in detail. What you see on the left side of the screen is MI running on a smartphone. And on the right side, a live Rainbird Sierra system. MI is connected to this irrigation computer, so whatever action we initiate on the phone using MI will show up immediately on Cirrus. This is a live demonstration However, there are no sprinklers connected to the computer. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Cirrus, everything is flow managed, so the computer makes all decisions based on available flow as to what will turn on. You can make changes or manage everything yourself, but it's generally better to let Cirrus optimize the flow management. Any station activity that is started from your smartphone using MI is also flow managed so users will not cause damage by turning on too many stations at once. What you see on the left side of the screen is a mirror image of what I'm doing on my phone. This is for demonstration purposes only. In the bottom left corner, you can see the green Rainbird MI icon. We'll touch that to launch MI. This is the main login screen. Here you'll enter your user ID and password to sign in. Before we log in, let's talk about these two drop-down menus. Home is the default location within MI that you can set if you prefer to go to a particular spot immediately after logging in, saving you a couple of clicks. MI has many shortcuts that really speed up operation in the field. It's our philosophy that the software needs to be easy to use and very fast in order to be effective. The second drop-down is the type of device you're using, in this case, it's an Apple iPhone. MI will automatically detect the type of device you're using and adjust the scale of the software to maximize screen size. We'll demonstrate how to edit that particular setting later. Let's log in. My username is Stu, and I will enter the password on my phone. We'll click Sign In, and now we see the main menu. The gear at the bottom left of this screen provides access to the Preferences menu. On the bottom right is the Exit icon. Click this icon whenever you want to sign out of MI. Let's click on the gear icon and go into Preferences. As you can see, there are quite a few options designed to help you operate your system faster and easier. For example, View Scale allows you to set the initial screen scaling ratio for different types of smartphones or tablets. If your device isn't listed here, you can set this manually using this User Scalable option. Then you can use your fingers to enlarge or decrease the size of the text on screen. Click Submit to confirm these changes, which are communicated over the internet to the MI software running on your irrigation computer. Use the Back button on the bottom left to return to the main Preferences screen. These options are intended to speed up movement within MI. For example, if one of your technicians was out checking nozzles one day, you could set it to take him right to the nozzle section after he logs in. Click on the Home icon in the bottom right corner to return to the MI home screen. Now, let's take a brief look at some of the different areas within MI. Area stations allow you to quickly access any individual station on your golf course. If we click on Area Stations, we are prompted to select Course 1 or Course 2. 
Let's click on Course 1 and see the Hole options. If we click on Hole 1, we see several areas – Green, T, Fairway, etc. Let's click on Greens. And now we can see the five stations on this green. At the bottom of the screen, you can see that we have two options – Commands and Status. Status tells us what is operating in that area, and Commands allows us to turn stations on or off or take other actions. We'll click on 1G1 and select Command. In the menu that pops up, we'll select Turn On and set the runtime to 3 minutes. Then press Send. This command goes back to the irrigation computer, turns on the station via Cirrus, and responds with a status message. Turn on for three minutes, Course 1, 1G1, succeeded. And now, in the center of the screen, you can see P1 is at 22.6, and we've got a red circle flashing where 1G1 is operating in the system. To turn that station off, click the drop-down menu, select Turn Off, and click Send. And it will turn off once it finishes evaluating the pump station flow characteristics. Let's go back to the previous screen. Here, we can adjust the station information by choosing runtime data, device data, rotor data, or ICM address. On the bottom of the screen, we see commands, status, and data, which can all be adjusted. We will cover that in detail in another video. Let's go back to the home screen. We have similar editing capabilities with programs. These are all the programs that MI found in Cirrus. If you wanted to start a program or change a percentage adjust on a program, you could very quickly do that here. This is a good way to adjust water budgets. To turn it on, go to Commands and select Turn On. This will turn on all of the greens. In Cirrus, you can see that all of the greens are now flashing. It's just as easy to turn this off. The Freedom section is a very popular tool, especially among superintendents, which we will cover in another video. I can use all the commands of my Freedom handheld radios and many more to access and control my central control system. Diagnostics allows us to link radio control diagnostics with our link system. We also have ICM diagnostics, so we can immediately run a diagnostics on any particular station on the golf course for the IC system. Accessories covers things like weather stations, pump stations, and other advanced technology components that may be included in your irrigation system. So there's a brief overview of MI. Please watch the other videos for more detailed information on various features. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call your Rainbird distributor or Rainbird sales manager. And if you're in the U.S. or Canada, you can call the Rainbird GSP team directly.